If you didn't see the title and realize that there are gonna be fucking spoilers in this video, you deserve to have this show spoiled for you. And if you haven't seen Clannad before, well, why haven't you? It seems that the biggest complaint about Clannad After Story by far is the ending, which many regard as an ass pull and quote, ruined the show. That is, how time was reset to an earlier time for a happy ending. Objection! I guess I can't object to you not liking it, that's your problem, but is the reason usually given for hating it valid? Is it really an ass pull? Let's think about it. Think about all the scenes in the illusionary world scattered throughout the show. The orbs of light in the illusionary world scenes were all alluding to that. Think about if the twist didn't happen at the end. Then the scenes in the illusionary world would have been completely pointless and random and accomplished nothing in terms of the overall plot or the show in general. Same thing with the brief discussions on the orbs of light. Like with what Yukine says, about the legend of the town with the orbs of light that are said to make wishes come true. What would be the point in mentioning that? All this shit would have been completely random and had no purpose. All this illusion would have been for naught. What would that have accomplished by having Ushio just die instead? Then everyone would be up in arms against the unnamed, unexplained Moe illness instead. As opposed to the time reset that resulted in a happy ending. It makes much less sense to complain about the twist, since it was heavily built up to through the show. All that was said about Nagisa's illness is that she'd been naturally weak all her life, and that, like, no doctor could help her. That aspect was an important part of the show, yet it was never actually explained. It would have been nice if they'd at least made up some imaginary illness so it looked like the writers cared somewhat. So, you'd rather have a pointlessly depressing downer ending that accomplished absolutely nothing? What would be the moral of the story? That mysterious, unnamed Moe diseases can take away the people you care about and ruin your life because fuck you, that's why? That even though you change as a person, get over your wife's death? and accept your responsibilities as a father, it won't matter because your daughter's still just going to die the same way your wife did? That'd be the most disappointing and poorly done tear-jerking event that would have ever happened in a key work. I scratch my head that people whine about the ending much more than they do about Nagisa and Ushio's unexplained ailments, especially when the prior makes much more sense than the latter.